So these are some A-level questions about uh, packet switching and networks. So they've given us um, in figure two some fields that are included in a, a network packet. So we're, we're thinking about TCP IP packets here. And we've got a destination and a source address. Uh, we've got some payload, that's the actual data. And there's a checksum field as well. But then they want us to name two of the ones that are usually in uh, involved in this kind of packet. There are actually quite a lot of different fields that you could write down here. Um, but it's probably worth kind of remembering two fairly straightforward ones. So if we remember and think about how packet switching works with sort of uh, lots of nodes on a network, you know, and if we're sending the packet across the network, it can go in various different ways to get to its destination. And sometimes in, in a network, we get uh, this cycle thing going on and we could lose a packet by it moving between routers and going around in a circle potentially. So there is this idea of a time to live field. So sometimes just shortened to TTL. Um, so that's thinking about how many hops it's done. So how many um, routers we've gone through. So we've gone, you know, one, two, three. If we get to a certain amount, uh, we've taken too long to get there and the packet gets destroyed and resent. So time to live is quite an easy one to remember. Um, there are lots of other ones that you could use um, to think of on this. So you could, you need to know the packet size. So packet size could be another one. And that, that's an easy one to remember, I guess. Um, you could uh, have things like the protocol identifier. Uh, you could have the IP version, because there's obviously IP version 4 and IP version 6. Uh, there are various flags that could be set. There's a sliding window, window size value. Uh, lots and lots of different things you could have on this. But it's probably worth trying to remember a couple of things that could be in a packet. Obviously, just take care not to write down one that's already been put in the paper. People do this a lot. They read these things and then they write down something that's either the same or equivalent. So try not to do that. So time to live and packet size work very well. Um, lots of other things you could, you could have written for it, but they're quite good ones. So next one is picking up the idea that they put in there. They put a checksum field in. So this is saying, explain what the checksum is used for and outline how the value will be determined. So they're not looking for a full explanation, a full kind of um, how, how a checksum is calculated completely outlined. So we're thinking about just saying, well, basically how it works. So explain what the checksum is used for. Um, so checksum is normally used to see whether the contents uh, of the data packet have been corrupted or changed during transmission. So it's the easiest thing to write down. Um, so we can just write down check if the contents of the packet were changed or corrupted, if you like. During transmission. And that will get us the mark for that one easily enough. So then uh, we need to outline how the checksums value is determined. So a checksum is a calculation. So it's calculated from the packet payload. So 
um, you can you can explain a bit more about this. So checksums determined value is all we're looking for. It's calculated from the packets payload. You will get the mark for that. You don't need to say any more. Um, obviously, a checksum is normally some kind of algorithm. It could be a hash or something similar that's applied to the payload. That's then applied to the payload at the other end when it's received. And if they match, then there's been no alteration in the in the um, contents of the packet as it's been transported. So sometimes we consider this to be, you know, is, is it a bad actor? Is it um, someone that's trying to hack into it? But it could be just it could be just corruption in the transmission. Uh, it's not just about that. So all we have to do is say it's calculated from the packet payload. Um, or we could say the packet contents, if you like. I think in there that would be fine as well. So we don't have to explain any more um, about how that works. That's enough to get those marks. So moving down, there's another little bit here. So a little bit of packet switching idea. So describe the role of a router in packet switching. So if this was GCSE, we'd just write uh, the role of the router is finding a route or it's routing, but um, we, we might not get all the points for that at, at A level just for saying that. Um, so we, we could talk about how uh, a router might connect one network to another, because usually that's one of the things they do. Um, we could talk about it determining which link to send the packet on. So you know, we could say something like determines which link to send send received packet along. So we could say something like that. Um, so so it's, you've got to be fairly accurate at A-level to say this. If we just say something like uh, the router determines where to send the packet, that's not going to be enough. So it's thinking about which link. So if we've got you know these networks that are connected together in this packet switching idea, you know we've got you know A and Z that we're trying to get it to. So the router at A is going to determine which link to send the, the packet on. So it could send it on this link or it could send it on this link. So it's not enough just to say it's trying to get it to Z or it's forwarding it or moving it on. However, uh, the router does try to find um, the most efficient or the shortest path uh, to the destination. Um, so we could say that and that would be fine. So. Um, uses the most efficient I'm sure about efficient we could talk about, yeah that'd be okay i think in this case most efficient or the shortest path to the destination So we could say that as well, that would be fine. Uh, we could say other things that it does, as I guess. So, um, so it updates routes via a routing table. Which is how it tries to determine the most efficient path by updating its routing table and um, being able to recognize when a route's become slower. So there might be a problem with the network. So it's like managing congestion, really, this as well. This kind of idea updates its routes to do that. Um, so there are, there are other things that the router does. There are other things you could say. So you could say um, that it modifies the, the MAC addresses for the next route or the next hop, et cetera. Um, but just be careful when you're talking about addresses because it's not changing IP addresses, but it might it will be um, changing the MAC address for the next device that it's going to. Um, 
we've already thought um, about the idea of having a time to live. So if a packet arrives at a router uh, and it's, it's time to live limit has expired or it expires when it gets there, it will remove that packet and destroy it. So it won't send it on anywhere. I could just remove that packet. So that's another thing it does. There are a number of things you could write down on that one. So three little questions there all about networks. Um, so this idea, first of all, that there are some fields to fill in and we decided on, I decided on time to live and packet size. And then the idea of checksum. So checks if the contents of the packet um, were changed or corrupted during transmission. So again, these are kind of definition ideas, the things, the basic things that these things do. Um, how the checksums value is determined, so when it's calculated from the packet payload. So you don't have to say any more than that. You could describe an algorithm if you wanted to, but it says outline what it is. It doesn't say describe in full. Bear in mind, it's only two marks, this question, and one of them was for saying what the checksum is used for. So then finally, the idea of what does a router do? And, you know, we need to be a bit more accurate than we might have been at GCSE, where we might have just said, well, a router just routes, except finds a route through the network. We have to be a bit more accurate than that. And so, you know, this idea of determining which link to send the packet on or uh, using the most efficient, shortest path, updating routes in its routing table, etc. Those things are all very valid things to say. So three questions about uh, packet switching.